What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So Asus has dropped new drivers for the ROG Ally X and the OG Ally as well. It brings them both up to being the same drivers. There's also a BIOS change for me here in this video as well on the X, so let's get into it and take a look. So over here, taking a look at my original Ally and my Ally X before I updated. We're still on BIOS 339 for the original Ally. They haven't changed that. That came out just a little over a month ago. And then on the Ally X, I'm on 304 for the original testing. I'm now going to be updating to 305, which has popped up for me. I know it's been out for a little while, but it never popped up for me until recently here actually in my asus so make sure you're still checking my asus even though a lot of updates are handled in armory crate se because you do still have things over here like the bios update and other things that are still coming up i do have the gpu driver update though showing up here ready to go in armory crate for both of these devices and i noticed that they're now going to be the same version as to where they were different version drivers before so it's going to bring them both up to the same driver version uh in the amd software we were on 2431 which will you'll see in the comparison video which was a march dated amd driver but these are official and then we had 234028 for the launch of the ally which was also a march driver from amd official no side loaded stuff here everything's all official done since the launch of these devices here so i'm going to go update everything i got all the drivers updated i updated to bios 305 on the ally x and we'll take a look at a few games side by side for the x and then the ally and see what kind of happens with performance it's always fun for me to jump in and take a look and see if any bios or gpu driver changes makes a difference so starting with the x here and jumping into starfield there is going to be some difference we've got the bios 304 and the older gpu driver on the left and the new bios 305 and newer driver over on the right and ultimately it's just going to depend on what game you're in as to whether there's no change worse or better we were a little better off in starfield with the original bios and drivers and also temps were slightly better i am testing in the exact same conditions and room and temps as i was uh, a week or two ago when i got the pre-footage uh, for before the change when I did my original comparison. So yeah, a little difference on temps and performance It's just not quite as good there now over in cyberpunk It's the same thing and we're not talking big difference Nobody's really gonna notice this much while playing most likely but again Temperature wise, I think it stayed about the same for cyberpunk So I don't know what was going on with starfield what the difference was there But we do have a difference when it comes to just how it's using RAM how it's using the CPU. It's interesting there are some differences depending on what games you're looking at as to kind of where it's headed in that direction and at the 25 watts here on cyberpunk with the older uh setup we were actually also doing a bit better as you can see as we go through the side by side with the fps and we'll also bring up the benchmark at the end now is it enough for most people to notice as they're getting into it probably not but as the benchmark shows 51.6 and 50.12 and that doesn't look like much but when you're looking at the actual gameplay and you're looking at one or two or three fps difference here or there when you're talking about low-end hardware like these handhelds and trying to keep fps as high as you can sometimes you'll notice that more times than others but you'll see here even side by side it's very similar but it just doesn't quite run as smooth on the frame times or as decent on the frame rate as we were getting before the update but this is common i've seen this with the launch of the og ally with the legion go they go up and down they get better they get worse they get better they get worse as they release drivers to fix certain things sometimes it makes other things not run as well or the bios especially could make big differences in how it's you know temperatures fans using ram all that but you can see here especially in this busy area definitely doesn't run quite as well now as it was running prior before the update now assassin's creed mirage and of course forza horizon 5 are the next two games and assassin's creed mirage was almost no difference there were some times where it seemed like the prior build here was running things a little bit smoother and i always run these multiple times three to five times and i usually pick the best runs and put them up against each other but yeah, it, for the most part, though, was pretty identical when it came to the FPS and overall performance and all that. And really out in open world gameplay, it felt the same, too. A little difference in our CPU usage and stuff. There's definitely some tweaks that were made there between BIOS and drivers. But 49 and 49, we might have had some better stats here and there, but ultimately similar, same performance there. Over on Forza Horizon 5, this is another decent one to look at. And it pretty much is the same as well so unlike starfield and cyberpunk where we kind of got worse performance now and when it came to assassin's creed mirage and forza horizon 5 it's super super similar if not the same actually the newer drivers might be slightly smoother when it comes to those frame time spikes uh, on the x here for forza horizon 5 so might have even uh, tightened it up a little bit and ran 
a little bit better when it came to some of those, but ultimately very, very similar. So not a big difference on the Ally X there, but there is some. It's going to depend on what game you're playing as to whether or not it's the same, better or worse. And it just kind of goes that way when it comes to driver updates or BIOS updates. Now, here on the original Ally, we don't have a BIOS change, so it's really just driver change here which will be interesting to see how that affects the original ally and jumping into starfield again here and kind of moving around it ultimately was very very similar the same i didn't see the change or loss of some performance uh versus over on the original x that we had it, pretty much no matter where i went it was basically the same performance without much of a change which is fine i'd rather see no change than a change in the other direction where we're losing a couple of fps or getting some differences in the frame times all right some cyberpunk here to take a look at as well and for the most part like starfield it's gonna be super similar performance however i would say it does seem like the newer driver much like on the x maybe struggles from time to time but I, I think for the most part it was running around the same thing and even the frame times or like the the spikes or drops um i think we're we're pretty much the same uh, throughout that and as far as our results we were like 4886 and 4799 super similar but yeah the older driver did run cyberpunk a little bit better um, than the newer driver and we saw the same thing over on the ally x i see cyberpunk change a lot every time any handheld does like a driver or bios update cyberpunk is always affected and out in the real world it's going to be kind of similar to what we saw in the x where for the most part it was slightly smoother with a slightly higher frame rate prior to the update not quite as good now when you're running around playing with that now assassin's creed mirage actually was a little bit different it was the opposite now this game actually will run better for you with four gigs of vram it doesn't like six because there's not enough on the system with 16 shared this game likes system ram but i had six gigs already so i stuck with that but curiously, even with the six gigs, um, and I could get higher performance with four, this driver did much better in Assassin's Creed and felt much better to play as well. And we got a three uh, FPS increase on the benchmark as well. This game actually benefited quite a bit from the new driver here on the Ally. Now going over and taking a look at Forza Horizon 5 like we did on the X to see what it would do, this also gets a bump in performance. We don't get the frame time spikes as much there that we had. We get an overall higher frame rate. Yeah, that temp does the same thing where it likes to run one or two C higher. Um, but ultimately a little bit better performance for Forza here as well. So similar to what we had on the X, a couple of games that didn't do as well, and then a couple of games that saw some improvement or none. And we went from 72 FPS to 75, and this is again with multiple, multiple runs uh, on these checking them out. So pretty interesting there to see. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. BIOS and driver on the Ally X, GPU driver on the original Ally. Again, some games are going to do better, some are going to do worse, and some you won't see a difference. It's always good to keep an eye out and check on those, and that's just the way it goes with drivers and PCs and BIOS and all of that. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.